Are, are we <coughs> merely trying to hold on to what we have until the economy as a whole improves? Monday morning, students made good use of their opportunity for direct talks with Chancellor Sandra Serrano. It's a matter of hearing what's on the minds of others in order to determine uh, where we need to focus. One of the big issues for Travis Rosenlieb was why the school is cutting class sizes instead of tapping into the district's $30 million reserve. You're not going to get in, and it's, it's a squeeze on everyone. It, it doesn't come from the school's budget. Christy Newsom is the ASB president. She says she hears many of these complaints on a daily basis. It opened up on November 17th, and it closed on November 17th. <laughs> Well, one main point of contention for the disabled community is the cutback in interpreters, a service vital for deaf students' success. I don't get the information that the, that the teacher is talking about on the subject that he's teaching. Serrano says disabled student services saw a 25% cut, but services still comply with ADA regulations. But it was her answer to another question that has many raising eyebrows. Why didn't you choose to have it deferred until a time when our school was more financially stable? Because I did have other opportunities and because I, I didn't receive any compensation increases for three years. That's According to the Chancellor's Office, Serrano's raise gives her a $282,000 compensation package for the year. That's $44,000 more than the 238 she made in 2008.